Good morning. This um, video is going to be the sixth video on my denture series about my experience uh, getting my teeth extracted and having dentures. I had my teeth extracted in July of 2021. It is now the end of August 2022. And um, this is just you know about my experience. Any products or services that I talk about, it's not an advertisement. It's just purely my experience. And uh, whether that's good or bad. <laughs> but uh, today I wanted to tell you about the time that I turned my dentures blue. Because that was fun. When you, um, I, in the, in one of the, my previous videos, I talked about using the, um, Polydent, uh, Smokers tablets to clean my dentures. A lot of people use those. You don't have to smoke to do it. Um, there is some upheaval in the dentures community about the fact that the Smokers, uh, Polydent, which is, I think you put, you can put your dentures in it for 30 minutes to soak and then, you know, brush them and clean them. That the smoker's formula is identical to the, oh, overnight white formula. So, you know, apparently they're identical overnight white, which I have also used and like, I just, I just think there's very little difference in most of these products. Um, the smokers tabs, you know, they say to soak for 30 minutes. I'll throw them in there and leave them in there overnight. Doesn't hurt them. You know, and then I just brush them really good the next, the next morning before I put them in. But, um, I'm at the point now, I have my last hard reline and I don't have any soft liner in. And if you have your teeth, when you have your teeth extracted, uh, in this, it takes your face a minimum, your face and your jaw and your gums and everything, a minimum of six months to um, kind of heal completely and settle completely. And so when you get your dentures in that six months, you have to go back pretty frequently to have like a little filler put in as your jaw adjusts and changes and as your um, gum ridge shrinks. Thought I heard Ducky. Um, the filler that they use, they refer to as a soft line, a soft liner. And it just fills in the ridge, you know, like in between your gum and, the, and your dentures that, you know, makes your dentures loosen over time. The soft liner um, makes your dentures fit better. It fills in that gap. When you have a soft liner, you have to store your dentures in, at the very least, water. Because the soft liner will dry out if you just, you know, clean your dentures and put them in the cup. Now, I have no soft liner. Because I have my final hard reline. And um, my teeth fit really, really well. And so, I can take them out and I can clean them. And then I can just put them, you know, I still store them in a cup anyway because I don't want to lose them. Um, but I don't need to store them in, in like a liquid of any kind. You know, it doesn't hurt my dentures at all because there's no soft liner that needs to be, you know kept wet so that it doesn't dry out but I'm kind of a um, yeah I want them to be clean I want my, my teeth and my mouth to be clean and so you know I use a lot of different things I'm happy with um, you know the polydent that I use the, the little tablet but I don't want to be dependent on that so if I run out or if it's not available, if I can't get it, I want to be able to, you know, still have a way that to clean and store my dentures and, you know, keep them white. I want to know that I have something um, in my back pocket. So if I can't get the tablets, then, you know, I have this alternative way. Well, <laughs> Google tells you everything. Google will tell you that, you know, X is bad, and then you can find just as much Google that will tell you X is good. So, it's really just, you know, a crapshoot of trying to find something that will work for you. Now, I have said that I use Dawn before to um, to clean my dentures, and I do. Um, I just use Dawn in the, in the dentures brush. And um, 
you know, some people will tell you that you can use baking soda and peroxide, you know, and, but other, other people will tell you that, um, baking soda is too, you know, scratchy, too sandpapery, and that it'll end up hurting your dentures. That sounds right to me, so I've never scrubbed my, um, teeth with baking soda. Uh, I'm not opposed to soaking it in baking, baking soda. I've never done that. But, I don't have teeth, so I always have mouthwash. I always have toothpaste in a, in a toothbrush, too. I've talked about how I still use those, even though I have no teeth. But I always have mouthwash because after I eat in the middle of the day or whatever, I can just kind of rinse my teeth underwater and I can rinse out with mouthwash. Um, you know, and that takes care of that at that time. I have read that you can um, actually soak your teeth in mouthwash. Now, I will um, soak my teeth overnight sometimes in um, just like warm water and peroxide. You know, just to, you know, keep them bright and white and whatever else. But there are, you know, you go ask the Google. And the Google will tell you that you can actually leave your dentures overnight in mouthwash. And I read about this. And I was, you know, oh, well, I always have like two different kinds of mouthwash. I keep like a Listerine type mouthwash and a Scope type mouthwash. I'm like, oh, well, this is good. And it will make them smell minty. So I had some blue mouthwash. It was um, like a Listerine type mouthwash that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And, you know, everything online that I was looking at said, oh, you can um, just you know, full strength mouthwash. You can, you can, you can just like fill the cup with mouthwash. And I did not do that, which I'm grateful for. Sorry, duckies around here somewhere. Um, I diluted it and I, I had maybe a third of this blue Listerine mouthwash that I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, and I diluted it maybe a third of the mouthwash to two thirds water. And I, you know, I brushed my dentures or whatever and I threw them in the cup, went to bed, get up the next morning and my teeth were blue. <laughs> and it, it wasn't like, um, you know, like Superman bright blue, but my teeth were definitely tinged blue. And, um, I panicked a little bit initially <laughs> because I thought... You know, I don't really know how acrylic works, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be something that I couldn't reverse. And, um, you know, but I rinsed them under hot water. Um, I actually soaked them in the, in a tablet of polydent, you know, the smoker's polydent. I soaked them in that, and I brushed them really good. And, um, it did, it, it came right off. So, well, it didn't come right off. I had to, like, soak them and brush them and all that. And I still believe that they had like a light blue tinge for, tinge for a couple of days. But that could have just been my brain um, projecting blue onto them because it was kind of terrifying. Nobody wants blue teeth. Uh, but anyway, so uh, be careful if you're going to soak your dentures in mouthwash. Because, you know, now I won't do that ever again. But, um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably, you know, I used the rest of that Listerine, but I didn't use it with my teeth in my mouth because I didn't want the, um, I mean, if it did that, just like in a few hours overnight soak, you know, over time, I didn't, you know, I was afraid it would tinge my teeth blue. I don't know that that would have happened. I'm just saying, just be careful of blue dye because you can turn your dentures blue <laughs> and it's not a good feeling. Anyway, if you have any, um, questions, you can leave them for me. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you have watched this far, thank you for watching. And I have to go find my duck. Bye, YouTube.